this is Captain Chaudhary. And uh, the heading uh, skills of navigation or navigational skills. Today I'm going to talk about the rendezvous. Rendezvous is a meeting of the two ships at their own uh, steady course and speed. It means that out at sea you want to meet the ship on a certain course and speed, right? Probably a disabled ship or a ship uh, of your company where uh, you are directed to reach and provide um, the assistance whatever you can. So rendezvous is uh, uh, an operation whereby uh, by taking care of by taking care of the weather that is prevalent the uh, probably the current which is applicable in the area of the disabled ship and the current which is uh, over here and if it is uh, limited distance probably the same current is applicable to the two ships that is uh, your ship who is the assisting ship and the other ship which is uh, a ship in trouble or needing assistance. Okay, uh, let us first uh, do it by a trigonometry method. This question can be done in three ways. So I tell the students, look, uh, this question could be asked in such a way that you have to use a particular method. So uh, let us learn all the three methods. The first method is by uh, trigonometry, applying trigonometry and the second method would be on a radar plotting sheet and the third method that we are going to employ is uh, on the chart itself on the navigational chart suppose we want to do the rendezvous how do we go about it okay uh, understanding the uh, trigonometric method let us say that my ship is over here this is the own ship position and here is a target ship which is about uh, say uh, 220 miles off if I draw a line joining the two the bearing is uh, 326 so 34 degrees would be the angle of the bearing line with respect to the meridian and we can even say that this angle is 34 so this method involving trigonometry is like you just try to make a triangle a triangle involving your present position targets present position and the rendezvous point or the meeting point let's say we have to steer this course own speed is 18 knots you are capable of going at 18 knots and maybe this target is uh, going on a course of 055 let us say This is the rendezvous point and uh, we made a triangle now we will discover everything that we know inside the triangle now the course over here is 35 uh, 55 of the target vessel and this angle is 34 degrees which is alternate angle and if we subtract from 180 these two angles that is uh, uh, 89 degrees then the remaining is 91 degrees Let us say compared to the direction of bearing this particular angle is alpha the target is going at say 4 knots the target is going 0 0.55 degrees into 4 knots which means that if the interval is x if interval is x hours then this distance over here should be 4x and this distance over here is 18x we are going to reach this rendezvous point in the same time so x is same for my ship and the target ship so target moves at uh, 4 knots so this distance should be 4x and i move at 18 knots i don't know what is the angle over here but if i move at 18 knots then this distance should be 18x I want to relate this side and this side so that the x gets cancelled. So can I say sin alpha divided by opposite side 4x is equal to sin 91 divided by <coughs> sin 91 divided by 18x. So x gets cancelled. I get sin alpha is equal to sin 91 into 
4 upon 18 and therefore I get alpha, the value of alpha. Now what happens is once I've got value of alpha and I know that the internal angles total up to 180 degrees so I know alpha, I know 91, I can find out this angle this target is 326 degrees, maybe 220 miles. So how do I use this 220 miles? I know this angle, sine of this angle divided by 220 should be equal to sine of 91 divided by 89. So how do I make use of this 220 miles? I know this angle because the total of the internal angles of a plane triangle is 180 degrees so I can find out this angle because I know alpha. So sine of this angle divided by 220 should be equal to sine of 91 divided by 18x. I know everything else except the x so I can find out the value of x. So this is how I can find out the course to steer to reach that point and I can also find out the interval after which I will meet the target vessel. Alpha is 12.8 degrees. Then what is that third angle? So uh, what I do is I add this to 91 degrees equal to minus 180 degrees gives me 76.16. So this angle is 76.2 degrees sine 76.2 divided by opposite side that is 220 is also equal to sine 91 degrees divided by opposite side that is 18x and therefore the value of x which goes on the other side is equal to sine 91 divided by sine 76.2 into 220 divided by 18 gives me x equal to 12.58 x is equal to 12.58 hours so it takes 12.58 hours to reach the target vessel and we need to go on a course which is 12.8 degrees to the east of the original direction. Now sometimes what happens is you may be given a situation where there is a steady current which is applicable to both the ships. The target steamed over uh, water a distance that was equal to 4 into 12.58 but in this period there was a current in southeasterly direction of two knots so 12.58 into 2 so many miles in southeasterly direction and this is going to be the course made good by the target in our case also this would be course and distance steamed over the water and we are going to be influenced by the same current and we are going to meet at this point this is the estimated position and this is going to be the course made good for me. So what I'm trying to tell you is if the same amount of current is applicable to both the vessels, the target vessels as well as own ship, then it does not make any difference in the calculation of course to steer and the interval of time. Now we have taken an example where the current was setting southeast by two knots for both the vessels. So what we will do is we will find out the final position number one with no current and number two with current same current applicable to both the ships let us find out the final position first without current what we will do is we'll apply the course and distance and set and drift to own position let's say own position as 20 degrees north and 20 degrees east we are steering a course of 339 degrees drop a perpendicular on the meridian if you are doing a 339 degrees true that means it is a, a quadrantal course is north uh, 21 degrees west so this angle is 21 degrees and distance along this course 226.5 miles 
So this side that is 226.5 sin 21 will give me the departure and this side that is 226.5 cos 21 will give us the DLAT. Now to write DLAT we must write down north or south. Same way departure is either east or west. North 21 degrees west is the first course. North 21 degrees west. Now we are going north, we are going west. So we are not going south, we are not going east. 226.5 into sine 21 degrees will give me departure. So departure is 81.17 or 81.2 or 1 degree 21 81.17 white and for the same distance 226.5 into cos 21 degrees gives me the delight as 211.45 now the position left let uh, me do the calculation here position left is equal to 20 degrees 00 minutes north and the DLAT is 211.5 you divide by uh, 60 you will get 3 degrees and 31.5 minutes to the north this takes the final latitude to be 23 degrees 31.5 minutes north. So uh, mean latitude is 21 degrees 45.75. Now this mean latitude is used only for converting the departure to delong or delong to departure. We know that the delong cannot be less than departure. So to find out the delong we need to multiply by secant because secant is an increasing factor. Secant of 21 degrees 45.75 means 1 upon cos of 21 degrees 45.75. So what we do is 81.17 divided by cos of 21 degrees 45.75 minutes gives me 87.4 that means 1 degree 27.4. So uh, D long is equal to 87.4 that is 1 degrees and 27.4. So longitude left was 20 degrees 00, 00 minutes east and the D long is 1 degree 27.4 minutes west. This means The final longitude is 18 degrees 32.6 minutes east, 23 degrees 31.5 minutes north. This is the rendezvous meeting position with the target vessel if there was no current. So we have seen that uh, the distance that was to be traveled that was 226.5 miles because we traveled at 18 knots for 12.58 hours. So uh, the distance of 226.5 miles gave me delet of 211.5 which means 3 degrees 31.5 and final position was 23 degrees 31.5. Now a D long was westerly because the D long is westerly which we found from the departure. Departure upon cost mean latitude is the D long which is 87.4 which means 1 degree 27.4 minutes west. So if we are going west, that means we are not going east, that means we cannot add. So we minus this D long and we get 18 degrees 32.6 minutes east. Final position is 23 degrees 31.5 minutes north and 18 degrees 32.6 minutes east. Now let us uh, find out the final position if both were facing the same current. The set and drift is southeast. So 
once again drop a perpendicular on the meridian as usual the internal angle would be 45 degrees south 45 degrees east is the direction of set now uh, we are going to face two knots for 12.58 12.58 into 2 gives me 25.16 I have the drift in southeasterly direction that means I am not going north I am not going west so the drift is southeasterly and for 45 degrees the delight and departure is going to be same that is 17.8 minutes because cos of 45 and sin of 45 is the same the uh, resultant delat will be 211.5 minus 17.8 gives me 193.7 193.7 minutes north and the difference of departure will be 81.17 minus 17.8 and that is 63.4 this will be 63.4 minutes west and this one is north so once again let us do the calculation delat is north and it is 193 that is 180 minutes plus 13.7 so it is 3 degrees 13.7 minutes north so final latitude will be 23 degrees 13.7 minutes north. So D long is 1 degree 8.5. So longitude left is 20 degrees east and D long is 1 degree 8.5 minutes to the west. So I get the final position for B when the current is uh, the same current is applicable for both the ships as 23 degrees 13.7 minutes north and 18 degrees 51.5 minutes east so we'll be doing the rendezvous calculations uh, number one on the radar plotting sheet and number two on the nautical charts we'll be doing many more calculations which i have termed under navigational skills so please wait for please wait for my future videos on the various navigational skills and relevant calculations. Thank you.